Hi, I'm John McComb, host of The John McComb Show on CKNW. I'm also a person who has a mental illness, in my case, depression and anxiety. Not too many years ago, I would rather have taken my chances in a dark cave with a grumpy mother grizzly bear and her hungry cubs than to admit out loud, or indeed on the radio, that uh, I had mental health issues. That's part of the stigma problem that surrounds mental illness. Like a lot of people, I refused to admit to myself that there was anything wrong with my brain. And what was troubling me, I thought I could deal with on my own by pulling up my socks and toughing it out. Somehow I could take care of things and nobody would know the difference. Imagine applying that kind of thinking to cancer or failing eyesight or a heart attack. After years of denial, I finally became so ill that I had to take seven months off from work just to deal with my illness. But with the help of a loving family and great doctors and supportive boss, I got healthy and I haven't looked back. I became involved with the Mood Disorders Association because I understand the great and increasing need for mental health services. MDA's medical director, Dr. Ron Remick, created the unique Rapid Access Psychiatric Urgent Care Program, and what a great success it's been. The program isn't just important, it's vital. People in the midst of a mental health crisis can't wait three to six months to get treatment started. The Rapid Access Program measures wait times in as few as two to three weeks, more than 200 people a month who otherwise would be left in distress and waiting. That's over 2,400 people a year. After a patient's initial meeting with one of the psychiatrists, that person becomes part of the group medical visits program. Groups include patients with a range of conditions, including depression and anxiety, bipolar disorder, and substance abuse issues. After an initial visit to see a psychiatrist, you don't have to wait weeks before you can see her again. At MDA, you can call that morning and simply drop in. This is service on demand, when and where patients need it, and at the time they need it the most. MDA currently offers 10 rapid access cognitive behavioral therapy classes and workshops that cover a diverse range of activities, including yoga, tai chi, and art therapy, plus 40 volunteer support groups and a speakers bureau. MDA is a haven in which stigma has been eliminated and individuals with mood disorders are able to live healthy, happy, productive, and satisfying lives. I know what it's like to suffer from a mental illness. I also know how wonderful life can be when the proper care and support is made available. That's what the Mood Disorders Association is all about and why I'm proud to be a part of it. I hope you will consider joining with me in supporting MDABC. I'm John McComb. Thanks for your time.